My name is Julie Fafan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to use Scan and Cut Canvas to transform a JPEG into a cutting file for your Scan and Cut. So I get asked all the time by people who have scans that they've scanned into the machine and it either has double lines or they want they to be able to edit or control it a little bit better in some way. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today using Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'm here at my computer and Scan and Cut Canvas is free online cloud-based software that allows you to do a little bit more detailed editing. And it's completely free. All you need to do is register. You just sign up, give them your email and you can get an account. And cloud-based means that it exists meaning on the web, not in your computer. So it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter where you are, you can absolutely always access Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'm here at the computer. I'm gonna just go ahead and log in to my account. And immediately I can see if I have any projects saved, but I'm gonna start a new project, okay? Now we need to find an image to bring into here and you can bring in any JPEG image. So what I've done is a really quick web search and I'm gonna show you the image, which you can see right here. It's this little owl. And how I found this, if I just go backwards for a second, is I did a Google search and I just looked for high resolution coloring book image. And then when I found what I wanted, and by the way, the reason it has to be high resolution is because a low resolution file is the, it doesn't have enough data for um, Scan and Cut Canvas to create a cutting file for it. So that's why you need it to be high resolution. So I found this image, I really liked it. I went ahead and I picked um, visit the page because I want to go to the page where it's located. And then you can see it says it's a free image download. So I'm just going to hit the download button here. And it even tells me the resolution so I can see it is big. So it's going to be big enough for Scan and Cut Canvas to get a hold of it. So I hit download. I get to choose where on my computer I want it to download and what I want to save it as. So I'm going to save it as Owl Coloring Book. And here on my computer, I'm going to save it right into my downloads folder so I know where to find it. I'm going to hit save. And now right away, it has downloaded for me. Okay, so let's go back to Scan and Cut Canvas, which I have right here. Now you can see this button here, which looks like a leaf. And if I uh, mouse over it, it says image tracing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now it's going to give me this little pop-up window and I'm going to choose the file that I want to be traced. So I'm going into my downloads folder folder, okay? And then I'm looking for the um, JPEG that we just downloaded that I called OWL. So luckily this is alphabetical, so even though I haven't cleaned out my download folder in a while, I can still find my OWL coloring book JPEG. There it is. So I'm going to open it on up and it's going to bring it right into my Scan and Cut Canvas window. Now you can see the OWL image here and all I want, I don't want the book, I only want the OWL image itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag those red line in and get as close as possible to the owl image itself. And if I want to preview how the scan is going to look, I can just hit the preview version. And I don't mean scan, I mean the um, what the cutting file is going to look like. And what you can see is it's outlining this. And that's because I have the outline chosen here. What I actually want to do instead of outline is I actually want to choose color, which is we're chasing the outlines of each color. So even though this is black and white, we're still going to choose color because again, it doesn't actually mean that it's going to trace in color. It just means it's tracing the outlines of each section. And now with the blue lines, you can see this is exactly what I want. Awesome. So I'm ready. I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to go ahead now and convert this into a cutting file that I can edit. So here it is. Super cute. I love this little owl. Now, actually, this is made up of a whole bunch of little files. And how I know that is if I go up to the View menu and I choose Show Only Cutting Line, what you can see here is these lines lines are way too dark. Uh, so I know there's more than one line underneath here. So if I go ahead and grab and move, right, you can see this is one huge cutting area. But look, there's this whole other bird thing left underneath here. Plus, there's all these extra little lines I don't want. So let's deal with one thing at a time. So first, let's zoom in. And I'm just going to use the magnifying glass to do that right here. And then I'm going to go up, up, and I can get it as big as I need to. 
Now, see how dark these eye lines are? And the reason that they're that dark is because there are two lines there. Remember I said that? So I just went back to the Select tool, and I'm going to go ahead and pull off one set, and there's the other one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm just going to hit, uh, I'm on a Mac, Command-Z, Undo, because what I really want is I just want that one circle line, which is, there we go, that's the one that I want. Oops. I'm trying to grab a hold of it now. Uh, pull that off, okay? Because I don't want these two eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete them. Easy enough. I just hit the delete key. So now I also want to get rid of these random little lines here. So I'm just going to select them and hit delete again. I want to get rid of these random lines. We're going to delete that. And I want to get rid of these, oop, but not that other part I selected, just these ones right there. So you can see how easy that is. Now each of these is an individual part. So to make it easier, I'm going to select them all just like this, grab and pull. And then I'm going to go up to the edit menu and I'm gonna choose group. Now you can see that blue dashed outline is only around my owl. So now this is gonna be one cutting file. Now this is all the inside parts of the owl, but I still want my outline. However, if we look over at this outline, it still has pieces of the book coming off. So what are you gonna do? You certainly couldn't do this if you scanned it directly into the machine, but here in Scanning Cut Canvas, there's a great solution. Over on the side, I'm gonna hit the basic menu, which is gonna bring up my basic shapes. I'm gonna grab a hold of this sort of rounded um, square, I guess you could call it. Is there such a thing as a rounded square? I pulled it onto my canvas and I'm simply going to resize it. Because what I want to do is I want to overlap it on top of the area that I want to remove. And I'm simply going to make sure that this edge, the right edge, is right up against where I want to delete the section. I'm going to hold down my shift key so that the shape I just added and my owl outline are both selected. Let's see if I can do that right here. Or I can just grab them both to select them. And then I'm going to go up here and you see this two triangles. It's a circle and a triangle that says remove overlaps. You can also find it under the um, edit menu where it says process overlap overlap and it says remove overlapped. That means it's going to remove the two pieces that are overlapped. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. And just like magic, look at that. It is gone, that piece that I didn't want anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue around doing that. I'm just gonna grab my little piece here, my little editing piece, overlap it where I don't want it. Then we're gonna go ahead and select the two parts. This time I'm gonna use a shortcut for remove overlap. It's gonna take that piece away. When I come up to this side wedge piece, all I'm gonna do is grab the green portion of it and rotate this around. You can see how easy it is now to customize your design and to really get it to move the way that you want to edit the image so that you can get exactly the part of it that you want. I love how Scan and Cut makes it so easy in Canvas. So now I've got these. I'm going to select them. You can see this process over and over, making it super easy to edit the images to get whatever you want. We've just got one little piece left, which I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold, rotate it, and I'm just using a regular mouse. I do sometimes use a pen tablet for editing, but that's really only if you do a ton of editing do you need something like that. But I'm just using my regular mouse right now to go ahead and change this out. And of course you can zoom in even more if you want it. So now, this is the last piece. It's super exciting. Overlap gone. It's gone. It's awesome. I'm happy, everything in life is good. And look, there's even a tiny, tiny little piece right here that did not get left over. No problem, we're just gonna select it, hit process overlap again. This is something you can keep doing over and over. And if you have any mistakes or any problems, just go ahead and hit the undo button and you can go right back. Then, this looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna delete that shape. I don't need it anymore. Let's go back to 100%. You can see my two little owls here. I have the inside parts cut out here. I have my outline cut out here, and if I had scan this image in, not only would I not have been able to get rid of the book parts of it, but I would have had some weird double cuts because actually the way that the coloring book designed it was with a little bit of a shadow and that might have cut as two sets of lines. So isn't it lucky that we came to Scan and Cut Canvas? So all that's left now is to download the file and luckily there's this huge blue button that says download. So I'm simply going to click on that. Then I'm going to hold down the option key while I press the untitled. And this is going to allow me to choose where to save 
save this. So I'm going to save it to, I have a USB stick in there, which I'm going to be able to take over to my machine. I'm going to save it as OWL cut files and hit save. And now that is saved to my USB. I can take it over to my scan and cut and I can cut my file. So here you can see I have an OWL outline cut out and then I have an outline that's also filled in. We transformed our coloring book image into this fabulous and adorable cut. So you can really see it's super duper easy to turn any JPEG into a cutting file using Scan and Cut Canvas. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please visit my blog at ballsdesigns.typepad.com. Also check out the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.